pleasure to introduce our inter International Seniors Day video. During this video, you will meet seniors from 12 of our centers around the world who will be sharing their stories with you, stories about their Taoist Tai Chi practice and their volunteering within our organization. First up, we're going to show you a map to help you locate these 12 centers around the world. You should be seeing that map fairly soon. It's going to start off in Vancouver on the West Coast. Here we go with this video. That's Vancouver on the West Coast of Canada that we'll see first. Then we move to Denver in the United States. From there, we'll go up to Edmonton in Canada. Our international center outside of Orangeville, Ontario. Longueuil, Quebec. Our international center in Dunedin, Florida. Halifax on the east coast of Canada. Across to Colchester in Great Britain. Helmand, Netherlands. Madrid, Spain. And finally, we take a slightly longer journey to the west coast of Australia, Bayswater, Perth. There will still be another transmission after this. It will come to you from New Zealand, where it is actually very early in the morning on October 2nd, and we will have a pre-recorded section. Now, I would like to introduce to you Ms. Marsha Eberhardt. Marsha is the president of the board of directors of the Fung Lai Gok Institute of Taoism. Over to you, Marsha. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Welcome, everyone. This is very exciting uh, to have this video, and it, it gives me great pleasure to welcome everyone to the International Seniors Day, Fung Lai Gok Taoist Tai Chi. We've been having Seniors Days for over 30 years, uh, based on Master Moy's guidance. Uh, seniors has always been important in so many ways to our organization. And Master Moy wanted us to recognize how much that the Taoist Tai Chi can help seniors. And as we know, on so many different levels, uh, the physical, the mental, the spiritual, and as well, how, what a wonderful resource. And we're finding that as we do this video, what a wonderful resource that the seniors bring. Uh, to our organization. So as well, I would like to announce that uh, we are doing this on for the first time as the uh, on the same day as the United Nations Day of the Older Person. So it's wonderful to connect the, the, the whole as we're connecting our international community that we connect with the community at large, you know, through celebrating United Nations Day as well. And finally, it, it, I'm also very happy to announce uh, the launch of the uh, health international health survey, which you can now find on our website at www.dowis.org, improving lives and reducing healthcare costs. So uh, have a wonderful view of the world, you know, through the, the voices and the stories, and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone soon. Thank you. And we're on to Vancouver. I'd like to introduce Jim Nicholson, who's secretary of the Fun Lagoc Board, as well as Verity Roth, who is president of the Pacific Region. So good morning, everyone. It's uh, before sunrise on the West Coast here. So uh, we're opening the shrine. You can see Polly here is uh, offering tea to open the shrine. Um, and we have a group of people with, uh, of all ages and abilities who have gathered for a Taoist Tai Chi arts class on this wonderful morning. Thank you, Jim. Of course, everyone knows that the Taoist Tai Chi arts are profoundly beneficial to seniors. That they help with health, they help with a feeling of vitality, a feeling of well-being. We have personal stories that go back many decades now, and more and more research evidence that gives us uh, an understanding of some of the specifics. For example, we know that uh, 
um, balance is improved from Taoist Tai Chi arts, and of course that helps with falls prevention. We know that cognitive capacity is increased. We know that it has a, a really good effect in reducing anxiety, stress, uh, the effects of depression. We know that it uh, has benefits um, in, in relation to many diseases. In particular, I'd like to mention osteoarthritis and Parkinson's. It can also help with the rehabilitation of um, events like strokes and cardiac issues. Um, there's a uh, overall, uh, um, many people have experienced pain reduction. We've had many people report that they've avoided surgery. So we can see that the Taoist Tai Chi arts are really powerful in helping seniors with their health, with their well-being, and we are even reducing pressure on our medical system. So this is incredible and powerful. Now, of course, and one of the big messages of this day is that not only does, does our practice bring vitality to our seniors, but also our seniors bring great vitality to our practice. Uh, we have seniors in every role imaginable in our organization, helping keep our organization healthy and energized. We have uh, seniors serving as volunteers, uh, serving as administrators, serving as leaders of the organization, and in particular, we have seniors uh, giving their time and serving as instructors. Uh, this morning, we have a class here. Um, there's many practitioners, all ages and mobilities. And I'd like to ask the uh, class instructor, Teresa Fibish, to uh, come forward. Teresa is co-leader of the Vancouver branch here. And she's also a member of the National Seniors Committee here in Canada. Uh, the question that I'd like to pose for Teresa is, what does it mean to her to be a senior in our organization? Thank you, Verity, and good morning, everyone. So when I retired five years ago from a very busy 35 years of nursing, uh, I had imagined you know, relaxing by the fire with a book and, and some tea and playing with my grandkids. And what actually happened was I started uh, doing more Tai Chi. I started teaching more classes. I uh, volunteered more with committees. And by being involved more and helping in these ways, I've, I've uh, received many gifts. I've become stronger and more resilient, both physically and emotionally. I feel like I'm continually learning and growing. And I've, got, I've made friends from around the world. Um, I feel deeply connected. I have a sense of belonging and, and a, part, a part of something deep and genuine. I have a sense of purpose uh, when I'm working on projects with others. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just, uh, the long list of, of gifts. And, and by the way, I do get to drink tea but, and sit by the fire, but I, this is balanced by my activities and my, and my connection uh, and in Feng Lai Gok, Gawas Tai Chi. And this is what gives me energy and vitality. Thank you so much, Teresa. So uh, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us here in Vancouver. Uh, you can see that it's going to be a wonderful day. We're so excited and pleased to be part of this uh, unique and very special event. So uh, again, we'd like to bid you a fond farewell from uh, Vancouver here. And next, introduce uh, Glenn Vanasek, who's uh, joining us from Denver, Colorado. Good morning. And welcome to the Colorado branch in Denver. Um, we are so honored to take part in this auspicious event uh, and bring to you how Sun Lai Gok Taoist Tai Chi is beneficial to the health and well being of all participants, but especially seniors. We're coming to you from our lovely and beloved center here in the heart of downtown Denver, Colorado, with uh, several of our members participating in a celebration of seniors. Today, I would like to speak to you about the benefits that the Don Yu and Toyu 
provide to all participants, but especially seniors. The Danyu and the Toyu are powerful tools that help develop the spine and strengthen and the ligaments and tendons and help uh, play an important role in balance and structure and help prevent debilitating falls. It's no mistake that several other locations today will be speaking about these wonderful foundation exercises because they are so important to our health and well-being. Did you know that fall injuries were the leading cause of death for people over the age of 60 years? Also, the average hospitalization cost in the United States is $34,000 to recover from a fall injury. Falls are inevitable. There are two types of people, those who have fallen or those who will fall. 41% of falls are caused by incorrect weight shifts when either standing or walking. <clears throat> um, so, um, so when one falls, um, one develops a fear of falling or um, a fear of walking or going up and down state stairs, which causes an abnormal or inadequate gait. Our balance is maintained by a synergistic uh, experience between our brain, muscles, and joints, and this helps us maintain balance. Let us observe. The group you are watching are practicing Danus and Toyus. These foundation exercises promote movement of the spine and spinal cord, as well as strengthen and stretch our ligaments and tendons, providing structural strength for our body. As you know, as we age, we tend to tighten up, our movement becomes restricted, and we feel more aches and pains. Many develop a loss of sense of physical, mental, and spiritual self. This leads to a fear of falling. I understand that Danyu translates as stretching or dropping the spine, and Toyu as pulling, stretching, or spiraling the spine. Danyus and Toyus promote movement and flexibility of the spine and joints, and as a result, the body benefits. Danyus and Toyus are foundational stretching and strengthening practice through safe and gentle movements. Not only does the Danyu help the spine, it relaxes the hip and pelvic bone, which allows movement of the tailbone, which leads to the expansion, contraction, and spiraling of the spine. This facilitates a pumping action, promoting circulation of the spinal fluid up to the brain and down to the tailbone, which increases the nourishment of the brain and organs. Notice the difference in how low different folks drop during their toy use. They go only as low as they are comfortable, ensuring a safe and strengthening process. Notice their eyes are looking straight ahead, ensuring correct spinal posture. This foundation exercise encourages a connection between the arms, legs, and spine, leading to an open balance stance, which will help normalize walking gait and decrease your risk of falling. Finally, we would like to highlight one of our exceptional senior participants, Carol Karosik. Carol is 70 years old, young by Dallas Tai Chi standards. She has been practicing the Tai Chi form regularly for 24 years, and she practices other Fun Loi Gok Taoist Tai Chi internal forms as well. She instructs both beginner and continuing classes. She has served on the branch council for 11 years and has been a branch leader since 2011. These skills are best seen as she works in the center's kitchen as one of the primary leads, organizing, managing, and preparing meals for all sorts of branch functions. She is a vibrant and inspiring example of a dedicated and hardworking volunteer in our organization. Her priority is to find balance of body, mind, and spirit while helping others through selfless giving. This concludes our segment today. Thank you so very much for the opportunity. And now off to Fraser Smith and Bev Billet in Edmonton. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, Denver. Uh, as I was introduced, my name is Fraser Smith, and it's my privilege to introduce Bev Billet, who has been practicing Taoist Tai Chi arts for around 30 years. And maybe, Bev, you could tell us a little bit about what it was like when you first started, when you were a national president of the National Seniors Committee. Let's go back a little bit to my first seniors week. I didn't know what I was getting into. I hated exercise. 
my idea was to move from the sofa to the chair with my uh, book and that was it. I got involved in Tai Chi and enjoyed it very much. And my instructor said, have you thought of Seniors Week? I went, what an eye opener, what a place that is. And the spirit is in the place. So that was 1988, 1990, Master Moy, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, set in motion the things that be for international Dallas Tai Chi Seniors Group. And that's been going ever since. So it's an activity that is pleasant. It's not work. It's relaxation. And as far as I go, I had a heart bypass in 1980. They said they'd give me two years. I'm still here, I think. <clears throat> and uh, a lot of it is due to Tai Chi. You have to do it consistently. Not one day and miss a week or two and then another day. It has to be consistent. Even a little bit helps. But that's what has kept me going. That and good medical care helps too. But uh, later on when the center started to develop, we decided that with Master Moy's approval, that we should maybe spread it out a little. Instead of having it in the center in Orangeville every year to uh, change it so more people could take advantage. So we moved from having it at the east to the center and then to the west. And that helped attendance a lot because it's a vast country. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I'd be mobile at all if I wasn't for my Tai Chi. And it's really become part of my life. It's part of part of me, my being, and it just seeps through your whole being in such a good way that I don't know how to even explain it. Sometimes you get frustrated, like any other organization. You say, oh, I don't want to go today. You just got to pull up your socks and go. And seniors, particularly are uh, more inclined to have a sore hip or a sore knee and oh, I won't go today. And we have to get out of our comfort zone. To me, that's important because it's so easy for us to be locked in our little rut and not move. So, and as far as the heart goes, it's such a easy exercise and exercise the heart without stressing it. So that's a big, big advantage. And plus the fact that I enjoy it. And we've got so many friends in Tai Chi, not only locally, but across Canada. And that is another thing that makes it so useful to everybody. It's always good to see how other people live. Um, in closing, I would really like to thank Master Moy. He was such an inspiration. We were doing 100 dog news one day and he came in the door and the instructor said they've done 100 dog news. He said 10 good ones would be better. Thank you for the message, Master Moy. And thank you to the directors as well. And uh, it's been our privilege to host you in Edmonton. I know we'll be now going over to the International Center for Canada and the Fung Wai Gok Executive Director, Andrew Hung and Asuntha Skeeney will be starting the next section. Have a great day, everyone. Hi, good morning, good evening. So uh, welcome you, and uh, I got uh, Susan Landy, so you're gonna be able to uh, introduce uh, Asunta. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here with Asunta Skyini and uh, to say a few words on her behalf. Um, Asunta recently was the subject of an article published by Providence Healthcare a publication in Toronto dedicated to the Providence healthcare community in the city. 
Asunta has been doing Taoist Tai Chi for 27 years now, and she has had Parkinson's disease for 33 years. Asunta has found that through her practice of Taoist Tai Chi, uh, that her balance is much better, her legs are stronger, and that she has truly benefited from diligent practice over those many years. Part of the article mentioned that Asunta has been part of a research study of 5,500 people who have Parkinson's disease, and that she has had it longer than only 25 other people uh, in the world. Asunta would like to say a few words to you herself to sum up her own feelings. Asunta? I'm alive because of Dallas Tai Chi. I've been living with Parkinson's for 33 years and it helped me a great deal. Thank you, Asunta. And we'll now pass the microphone back to Andrew Hung. Andrew? Uh, uh, and I would like to introduce you, John Belinsky from the Central Region. And uh, he's going to be uh, talking a little bit more about the program. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, in the in Central Region, we're very fortunate here to have uh, the International Center. Uh, been here for, uh, uh, since 1984. And it's been such a tremendous benefit for, uh, for the entire region, for the entire organization. The interesting thing is that none of this would really be possible if it wasn't for the tremendous support and effort from all of the seniors. It's interesting that um, you know, here in, in Central Region, we have we instruct in, in over 150 different locations across the region. And as I mentioned, the, the vast majority of the participants in the region are seniors. So to have such a, a broad base of locations where we're constructing in, and we have a, a lot of vibrant activity throughout the region, being the, the, um, uh, the, the, the host for, for so many international events, I say all of that is possible through tremendous support and dedication and commitment of the, uh, the seniors within uh, within the region, and with uh, when, you, when you look at just the uh, the, uh, the magnitude of the events, the, uh, the tremendous uh, activity and, and, and support that goes on, that would not, as I said, be, be possible without uh, all of the seniors uh, here in the in Central Region. So they provide a tremendous life and vitality. And uh, in support to, uh, to everything that goes on. Thank Let you. me make one correction. I <laughs> I like so far what we are talking about, but the senior one. I know we are all senior, including myself. I'm almost sixty years old. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I make so much uh, to Master Boy and. Uh, uh, to give me the opportunity to do what I'm doing and um, keeping you well. So the correction is the senior is somehow not fitting us no more instead of what we call is forever young. I think this is something that we are looking for, how we will be able to use this and every day, whenever you can, whenever you are. And uh, as a big family, as long as you smile, <laughs> and we're going to be able to do a lot, a lot more. And it is a very powerful art. With, with what we have already, there's so much, and we just need to get closer and closer to it. Thanks, everyone. Uh, we've been having a wonderful time here at Orangeville. And now we're passing it off to Adele Tuton, who is a leader of the Montreal branch. She is in Longueuil, Quebec. Hello, everyone from the Eastern region. Bonjour de la région de l'Est. It's a great pleasure for us all to be here to participate in this wonderful celebration that spans the entire globe. 
uh, right here were uh, close to 100 participants who have come today, participants and guests who are celebrating and practicing and learning Taoist Tai Chi together. Uh, we're expecting also some uh, visitors from uh, various uh, levels of uh, government with whom we collaborate on a regular basis to promote the health benefits of Taoist Tai Chi for seniors. So this day definitely gives us the opportunity to celebrate together all the wonderful benefits that we get, and particularly uh, for the older person. Uh, one thing that I'm very pleased about today is that I get to practice with my own personal heroes, uh, and a lot of them at the same time. So I'm very, very happy for that. Uh, my personal heroes are the seniors that I've been practicing with for 30 years or 20 years, even 10 years that have been a great inspiration to me on all levels in terms of their involvement and their contribution, not only to the art, but to the community as well. As we see uh, the participants practice, you can see the tremendous, the range of motion uh, that uh, Taoist Tai Chi procures to the body. You can see they're stretching the opening. There's always more, there's always a relaxation that we can get that'll take us even further into uh, the health of our body. Uh, we don't only exercise the physiology though, the, the same expansion, the same opening for the heart and the spirit also happens. And that is thanks to the wonderful art that our founder, Master Moi Lin Shin brought to us. He brought to us an art that not only contributes to our physical well-being, but to our mental and spiritual well-being as well. So I mentioned uh, that the, the, the demonstrators here are my personal heroes. And um, that really is because of how much they contribute to the smooth running of our organization. And with such an open heart. Uh, there's uh, Marie, Buguette, Rosemary, Henri, Renette, Lise, the list goes on and on and on. And uh, so it's such a pleasure to be able to practice with them on a regular basis. Training with them is an inspiration because there's always more, there's always an, an extra that can be put into our practice. And they really demonstrate that in the way that they practice the art. Uh, there's no limit to how they're willing to try to do more, to open more, to stretch more. I'm also grateful to practice alongside them because um, they're really an inspiration to just do what must be done without hesitation. And they just jump right in and help, whether it's with our meals for the homeless or teaching classes, giving demos, or just being around and helping other seniors and the youngsters as well in, in just all aspects of life. And plus, they're also an inspiration just in terms of their example, which is something that really you can't learn any other way than just by being close to them and observing them and following their lead. So <laughs> I kind of joke about being a senior in training, but in many ways, I think we all are. And it's a pleasure for me to discover as I've been practicing, I've realized that uh, practicing with seniors, especially seniors in the society has helped me destigmatize the process of aging. I realized that there is so much more growth, potential, maturation, development, and health that is acquired even as the body matures. So there's really no end to the, to the potential of the art that we practice. And that's really of great benefit to everyone. And uh, so I'm very, very happy to be here. And it's my great pleasure now to pass on the presentation to Halifax, where Steve Digwall is waiting with other eager participants to uh, share with you more of the wonderful benefits of Taoist Tai Chi for seniors. Well, greetings from Halifax, Nova Scotia. There's about 50 of us here today. We've gathered to practice together and we're uh, Looking forward to a lovely lunch uh, prepared by our volunteers once we're done with the, uh, the session now. Um, I would like to introduce uh, some of our invited guests. Uh, Sabrina Scott, 
uh, who is a daughter of Art Lloyd, who you're going to be hearing from in a moment here. Also, Kim Barrow is the uh, executive director of risk management and uh, with the Department of Health uh, and Wellness, Nova Scotia. And we've got two staff members from the local geriatric day hospital, Ann Nelson and uh, Megan McGuire. Welcome all. You may notice that Ann Nelson is wearing the same shirt as I am. And that's because uh, Ann is one of our newest participants. She came to a beginner weekend class just a couple of weeks ago and just started with us uh, here practicing. Today, she is here as our guest, however. Uh, I would like to turn it over now to Art Lloyd, who's one of our senior members, uh, and he has, a, I think, an inspiring story to tell us about his involvement with the organization. Thanks, Steve. Well, first of all, I didn't come to Tai Chi for the physical part. It was a stage in my life <coughs> where I had uh, was having a hard time dealing with the loss of my wife in 57 years. And my daughter, who is a fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo and also works in mental health, suggested that I try Dallas Tai Chi. Well, I was 83 years old, had two left feet, <laughs> and I never ever thought I'd be able to do Tai Chi. But the instructor encouraged me to go from beginners to continuing class. And there, well, I received the same reception and a lot of encouragement from both the instructors and people around me. And here now, after six and a half years, 89 years old, there's a lot of things that I can do now that I couldn't do at 83, even though I thought I was in fairly good physical health. You know, I, I can uh, sit on a low chair and get up without using my hands. I can stand on one foot, put my pants on, <laughs> and I can get down on the floor, sit cross-legged, and the most important thing, I can get back up again. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'd like to I'd like to thank the instructors and all of my friends in Tai Chi that have helped me achieve and maintain through Taoist Tai Chi a healthy and <clears throat> a healthy mind and body, especially at this stage of my life. Well, thanks very much, Art. And I would like to point out that this is a two-way street that we're very glad to have Art uh, with us on a daily basis here because, you know, he's a very nice man and we like to see him, uh, but also because he does so much for us. He looks after many things around the building here. He has a schedule for when he needs to change the emergency exit lights. And if we need some drywall repairs done, he looks after that. If we need our stairs fixed, he patches those up. If painting, he's, he's right on top of that all these things, and, and most importantly, he doesn't need to be told. He's our eyes and ears and looks out for these things and alerts us when they needs to be done and, and just looks after it. So we're so glad to have you here for many reasons, Art. Well, thanks, Steve. Thank you. So uh, just in, in closing, I would like to sort of highlight that this is an important part of what we do as an organization, that Mr. Moy's vision included having a community where people could contribute and be active and dynamic members of the community well into their senior years. So uh, we're so glad to have Art uh, here to help highlight that for us. So I'm gonna wrap up now and uh, turn it over to Crispin Barker, who is the president of the Taoist Tai Chi Society in Great Britain, uh, coming to us from Colchester, the International Center in England. Over to you, Crispin. Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, allow me to introduce uh, Pat Wells Johnson and She's Margaret Guy, uh, two instructors and senior members themselves uh, here in Fongwe Kok Daoist Tai Chi. We still seem to be on board a bit, you're not, you're not taken over yet. Oh. A bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> nice and loud. They, they haven't switched over, have they? <laughs> 
they need to. Like I say, just try good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> We seem to be having a few communication issues with Great Britain. So I think at this point, what we'll do is we will move on to Helmand and we'll come back to Colchester after Helmand. Thank you. Welcome to the Taoist Tai Chi Society Center in Helmand, the Netherlands. We are here with way over a hundred people who came from all over the country, but also a big group from Belgium and from Germany. Uh, a special welcome to Mrs. Uh, Veroude, who is a member of the City Council of Helmand. And I would like to mention that the day today was opened by the mayor of Helmand, Mrs. Ellie Blanksma. She was really impressed with what we were doing here. So it was a very nice visit. Unfortunately, she could not stay due to other commitments, but we were happy that she could uh, be here. We not only want to show us our beautiful center, but also what we do here what we do to help elderly people. Of course, as you can see, we do a lot of Taoist Tai Chi with all its great benefits. But we also do lots of volunteer work. A lot of seniors are involved in that and also other social activities. For instance, today we started with um, uh, the high tea and uh, all we had all very nice food prepared by our senior members. And here at the table, you see people folding paper origami cranes. The goal is to uh, fold a thousand of them and we will hang them in the center as a sign of good luck and wisdom. It is very nice to uh, to be together and to work together in such a way, just to have some nice chats together and feel comfortable. Then I would like to introduce one of our senior members. Uh, as a child, he learned to play the piano and uh, at a certain point, unfortunately, he got rheumatoid arthritis and uh, in his hands and his fingers. Um, the result was that his hands, his fingers got really deformed and uh, stiff and painful. But I would like him to tell his story himself. So here is Wim van Amersfoort. Wim, what can you tell us? My age is 74. Tai Chi, however, is coming in my life just four years ago. And in the beginning, I had a real problem with my fingers. I couldn't stretch them enough. I got pain in my fingers. So you will understand, I didn't like to play the piano at that time. But I can tell you, last year I noticed by doing Tai Chi every day, I could stretch my fingers much better than before. And so I do enjoy to play the piano again. I can say you, Tai Chi for me is a gift. And I will show you by playing a for an art tune of Frédéric Chopin. Thank you. Please go ahead.
okay. So now I would like to turn to Colchester to Crispin Barker. Good afternoon and welcome. Uh, allow me to uh, introduce Pat Wells Johnson and Margaret Guy, uh, two instructors and seniors uh, here in the society. Uh, and this afternoon, we'd like to uh, explain how Pat and Margaret um, help prevent falls in their local community by teaching Taoist Tai Chi from the cup. Uh, and uh, so uh, falls are an enormous problem. Uh, about 20% um, uh, or yeah, 20% uh, of all uh, hospital admissions involving older people are because of a fall. Uh, and following a hip fracture, 50% uh, of fallers will no longer be able to live independently. And falls cost the NHS and social services here in the UK about £1.8 billion pounds a year. Let's see what skills Pat and Margaret have up their, skill, uh, up their sleeves in order to help. So one of the, uh, one of the fundamental things about preventing falls uh, is to have good leg strength. Uh, and Pat and Margaret are now demonstrating the snake exercise, which is a, a terrific movement uh, of generating good quadriceps power. And if we look more carefully, uh, you'll see that the hip muscles and also the trunk muscles get an excellent workout too. And for a while now, uh, rehabilitation therapies have been looking carefully at our ability to walk backwards as a really good measure uh, of, uh, of our balance and improving our balance. Uh, and Pat and Margaret can teach these skills to their, uh, to their class uh, using the move ward off monkey. And this move uh, basically helps with our joint position sense uh, called proprioception, which is essentially our, our body's knowledge of where it is in space at any particular time. Spinal flexibility is also really, really important when it comes to helping our balance and preventing falls. Uh, and in this turning jong exercise, our two instructors uh, are demonstrating spinal rotational flexibility. Uh, and this is really, really useful uh, when it comes uh, to making uh, slight adjustments in our everyday movements uh, in order to keep our center of gravity within our base of support. But interestingly, it's not just uh, spinal flexibility that's important. Interestingly enough, um, ankle flexibility is also really, really important uh, to prevent falls. Uh, and in particular, uh, to, uh, to condition and to train a muscle in the front of our shin uh, called tibialis anterior, which is a bit of a mouthful. And Pat and Margaret are demonstrating this activation of tibialis anterior when they're pulling up their foot in the strong paper. And this allows us, uh, particularly when we're walking in our everyday life, uh, when we're picking up the foot more effectively, it avoids us tripping on, on low-lying objects like rugs or, or the pet dog. So now, uh, uh, really, really helpful here uh, is our ability to be able to get on and off the floor effectively. And we use this technique often when we're practicing chanting. Uh, and this is uh, a really quite amazing um, technique of developing uh, strength uh, and also flexibility simultaneously. And interestingly, this ability is not just uh, something that can help prevent falls, but, um, but having this skill and this strength uh, also um, reduces the fear of falling as well, which is really, really useful. But let's hear from Pat and Margaret themselves uh, about what they think helps their classes. Thank you, Christine. Um, at classes that I attend, I like to share with class members 
the knowledge and experience that I've gained to help people gain confidence and to promote balance. The changing of weight between the feet can really strengthen the person's ability for their daily living. What a gift. At class, I like to encourage members to know that practicing Tai Chi should be fun, because if it's fun, they'll enjoy it, they'll relax, and they'll get so much more benefit out of it. Thank you so much, Pat and Margaret, for that lovely demonstration uh, and that reflection on how Fung Lai Kok Daoist Tai Chi can help prevent falls in our local communities. Uh, and now, uh, I believe we're going to, uh, to visit the, uh, the Spanish city of Madrid, where we're going to meet uh, Carmen and her team uh, in this wonderful Daoist Tai Chi location. Over to you, Carmen. Thank you, Crispin. Olaf from the Southern European Center here in Madrid, Spain. We feel very, very, very pleased to be part of this celebration of the International Senior Day. Uh, here in the center, we are members from the different branches from Spain, also Italy and Portugal, and uh, even USA. So truly an international event. We want to say also that this year is a very special year for the Taoist Tai Chi Society of Spain. We have a few celebration uh, anniversaries, and uh, one of them is the 35th anniversary of the Taoist Tai Chi Society of Spain, and the other one is the fifth anniversary of the, cent of the Shrine Grand Opening. Um, so, um, <laughs> We see many, uh, what see some of the members doing the Tai Chi here. This is the main activity we have in our center, but um, it's not the only one. But because of people practicing diligently the Tai Chi, they are able to enjoy with the rest that we can do in that center. Uh, we are very happy of finishing the renovation that has been waiting so long. After a few months of, um, of um, renovation and work here and many people and dust and everything, finally the center is fully working again. One of the most uh, waiting of the renovation part has been the kitchen that is fully used now in the last few weeks. Um, so, and we would like to... Um, uh, appreciate the, the member, the senior member and their contribution to the center and everything. So by taking care of the center, by helping with the dragon, with the task, with everything we do. And uh, in this case, we would like, we'd be uh, very honored to introduce Jesus, who is um, a senior member. He's a retired baker and he is um, literally eggs in the cake, um, for this celebration. As you see, uh, there is three cake that we are going to enjoy very soon. It's a pity that you cannot try because uh, you can see that it will be a funny moment. From the time that we get the, the shrine, we also got a dragon. And the dragon has been sleeping for the last three months that we had been having this renovation. So uh, now we are very happy to wake it up.
We must say that you have to do a lot of Tai Chi <laughs> to be able to perform that. But as you can see, we have senior and everyone there. We are now ready for the cake. Everybody come together. We're going to have the toes. We will love you to be here, but I'm sure that you are going to enjoy with us too. So, salute for, for everybody. And now I would like to introduce you the next person in this uh, celebration. It will be uh, Pagety Pagman, the um, president of the Taoist Tai Chi Society of the USA. And she will be transmitting from the International Center in Dunedin, the USA. Goodbye. No, we cut it now. Hey, hey. Never finish. They cannot trans. Uh, no, pueden cambiar. What a lovely celebration that was from Madrid. I'm sure we all wish we, we could be there. Um, again, it appears that we're having a little bit of difficulty connecting with one of our centers and uh, Dunedin is not coming on straight away. So what we will do at this point is we will flip over to Perth Bayswater in Australia. And I'd like to introduce Sally Mercer to you. Sally Mercer is on the uh, board of directors of the Australian Taoist Tai Chi Society. Over to you, Sally. Hello everyone and welcome to the Bayswater National Centre in Australia. We are half a world away from the International Centre in Orangeville and here it's almost 11 p.m. so really quite late. But we still have almost 20 people here. We've been sharing dinner and we've been sharing stories and we've had a great time this evening. Uh, we watched the shrine being opened in uh, Vancouver and you will see the shrine being closed behind us now. Um, yes, we certainly have been sharing stories this evening. We've had, uh, and we've been watching the lively seniors from around the world um, doing the same moves that we do and, and sharing um, in the organisation in very much the same way that we do. Um, one of the things that um, I have become very aware of as, as I got older is um, that there's a perception in the community which is uh, reinforced um, uh, and, and shown uh, through research that um, uh, people as they age become invisible, uh, especially senior women. And I've reflected that actually that's you know, not my experience at all as a member of the Taoist Tai Chi Society. Um, we come together all ages and enjoy each other's company and support each other. And there are many opportunities to contribute as well. And I'm quite sure that that gives us all confidence to go out into the world, wider world and, um, and make a contribution, um, be very visible in a positive way. And we certainly uh, uh, aren't short of positive role models here in the society, like the lovely Aminta who's sitting beside me. Aminta uh, was forced to leave her home country seven years ago at the age of 68 um, and came to Australia and she found the Taoist Tai Chi Society. And so what was your first experience of the society like? 
well. At that time, my English wasn't good, and I wasn't sure I could join the class. But Sandra told me, you don't need to talk. You just move and follow the class. And that's what I did. Yeah. Simple. Simple, yeah. <laughs> and uh, how did you get home that day? Well, uh, that day I came by bus, and Marilyn, my friend ever since, took me home and following my hand signers because of my poor English. And uh, she saw me coming, um, the, um, walking to the center. Mm -hmm. And from that moment until I passed my driving test, she brought me here and took me home. And how do you feel about the, the society now? Well, he has been a lot, uh, has given me balance, mm. not only in my body, but everywhere. Mm. Through my illness, through my uh, loneliness, in the, being in a new country with a new language, with our friends, not knowing how to move around. That she has always been present, always welcoming and good for my health. Oh, thank you, Aminta. That was very inspiring. Um, I'm constantly inspired by all the members at class. And uh, recently, Sam, who is an octogenarian, he um, came up to me and apologised before class, saying he probably would not be able to do 50 Don News today. And, of course, I asked him why and if he was okay. And he said he'd done a 50-kilometre fun run on the weekend. And um, I was very inspired by his comment. Um, being inspired um, and social contact and friendships are all of the things that um, help our members um, progress with their Tai Chi. Um, um, right, right throughout, no matter where we are, um, in our Tai Chi journey. Thanks, everyone. That's been great. Thanks for sharing the stories. Uh, we've also, we also know lots of people in our classes, like Aminta, who are always the first to do things, to help people and to welcome them. So it's been great to hear of all those stories too. So we started this link up with uh, Vancouver opening the shrine. And now we're getting towards the end of the day and we're looking towards uh, closing the shrine. And we will be passing the baton to Florida. Uh, and then we'd like to say goodbye and good night from Australia. What a beautiful image of the shrine closing from Australia. Now we'd like to move back to our international center in Dunedin, Florida, and to Peggy Packman, the president of the Taoist Tai Chi Society of the US of A. Peggy, are you there? Well, one thing we learned through our Taoist Tai Chi practice is flexibility, patience, and understanding. I guess that's more than one thing. Uh, it appears that Peggy and uh, the International Center in Dunedin are not able to join us today. We'll check in with them on another day. And at this point, what we're going to do is take you to our pre-taped segment from um, New Zealand. And we'll be looking at two centres. Kia ora, Kato Katoa. Kato.
Tucker, so light put Tucker in law. As president of the Dallas Tai Chi Society of New Zealand, I have great pleasure in extending the greetings of New Zealand members to all other participants of the Dallas Tai Chi family around the world. Please to be participating in this video presentation for the United Nations International Day of Older Persons. Seniors have taken part in all aspects of the Dallas Tai Chi Society workings, whether that be enjoying their own Tai Chi or volunteering their time and skills, whether that be for instructing or helping in the kitchen or doing vital administrative work. President of the Waikato branch and also uh, an instructor, which is uh, coordinating seven locations and uh, keeping the communication going and, and preventing isolation of groups in a really widely spread geographical area. That's a role that I, I enjoy having on the national board um, and uh, that has been a wonderful experience. I've been grey for a long time and so I've been seen as an older person for a long time but I must say that I have never felt better in my body and feel much better than I did when I was 20 years younger and so I am just so grateful to Tai Chi. When you retire, which I did a number of years ago, now you're looking for something else to fill some of the time, and the time gets pulled out rapidly, and you wonder how you as a worker. But you need, you see a need for something to be done. And I think as a senior, you've built up, and when you become a senior, through your life experiences, you've built up quite a range of different schools, different ways of looking at things. And I think if the seniors hold a lot of the society together. I think the Dow Society Society caters very well for seniors. I deny that I'm a senior. Enjoying the Tai Chi. or instructing. What we know from the health survey undertaken recently is that Taoist Tai Chi contributes to physical and mental health benefits, but also increases a sense of community and social connectedness. Furthermore, health studies tell us that the art of volunteering also provokes a lot of benefits for physical and mental health, and this is particularly the case for seniors. So, overall, volunteering by seniors, doing Taoist Tai Chi, is a win-win situation for the society and for the individual. So what is that? Taoist Tai Chi because it works. Thank you. Heidi La. Thank you. 
That rousing farewell came to you from Toronto, where we celebrated International Awareness Day 2017. At this point, I would like to thank all of the seniors who shared those wonderful stories with us today. Thank you also to Master Moi Lin Shin, who shared so much with us. And finally, thank you to you for joining us today. Next up is a map of all of the locations around the world that have been watching this video today together with you. We thought you'd like to see this. So in North and Central America, we have St. John's, Charlottetown, Quebec City, Gaspé, Ottawa, Winnipeg, Calgary, and Regina, Corpus Christi, Portland, Chicago, New York City, and Heredia in Europe, Edinburgh, Ballina, Copenhagen, Lambal, Warsaw, Renault, and finally in Australia, Toowoomba, Canberra, and Melbourne. Farewell from all of us. You can find us at Taoist.org.